Hey YouTube. Today is January 14th, 2021. I'm headed east on the 210. It's January. Look in the lower left hand corner of my dash. Can you see that? I hope you can. I'll find out when I edit. It's 89 degrees. I'm wearing this because it's safe. You know, it's if I go down, it's made to protect me. I got like hockey puck shoulder, elbow things to protect me and abrasion resistant fabric and whatever. So instead of going with a t-shirt, I chose this. I'd much rather be in a t-shirt. It's a really nice day. I could have uh, driven to where I just went to, but on a day like this, I took the bike. This is the second time I've had this bike out since I flashed it with the Bren Tune. The ECU uh, performance enhancement thing. I don't know what the proper name is. So, I'm getting to learn it. That's fifth gear. There's third. There's second. It's all kinds of fun. You grab a handful now and it just, you have to hang the hell on. happy with it so as you can see the traffic is you know really tight so there's not much I can do I'll tell you one thing though it, it goes over a hundred without even breathing hard if I get a clear spot I'll show you Last week I was on it and I got on the freeway and hammered it hard and I was redlining in third gear and there was no one in front of me so I grabbed a handful of fourth and I had maybe three seconds of bliss before I had to start slowing down because I was running into the back end of traffic. And I was going way over 130. And the bike, was, it was just as, it was like this. I could have done it one-handed. This, this BMW is a joy. It's just a phenomenal extension of your will. Cruise control, heated grips, nimble. It just does everything, and it gets the hell out of its way when it wants to go. I'm very happy with my choice. I used to have a Harley for 17 years, I believe. The same one, I bought it brand new and sold it. And um, didn't have a bike for years. My Harley days are over. I respect him. I've had one. I've been to three countries on that motorcycle. I earned my wings. I even went down in traffic and I was okay ultimately. But I ran the full gamut. I rode in 38 degree weather. God bless those who have me beat on that point. Um, it doesn't like to go fast. It doesn't like to corner. It just likes to stay 45 to 60 in the sun, headed west, is the best time to have a Harley. Just on a highway or a boulevard, that's, when that, that's what that bike is made for. And you can drive it for long, long, long distances. There's no cruise control, it's a rudimentary um, platform. 
And now that day's done. This, however, is the bomb. Never knew. I just never knew. Watch this. Fourth gear, right? I rest my case. It's it's just like flipping awesome. If it were, if, if it was a little more sparse, I would have gotten to. I would have gone faster and had more fun, but nah, I'm not. Southern California is the place to be. Like there's really no having fun today. Uh, the dash says it's 1.30, so it's technically starting to get more busy. People coming home for I don't know why at 1.30, but traffic gets thicker about 2, and it's 1.30, 1.33, so what are you going to do? I don't know. An hour before it would have been more, more um, sparse. You see the mirrors? You can see out of them. There's hardly any vibration. For previous XR owners, that means something. For any Harley owner, that means a lot. I couldn't see out of my mirrors most of the time. Oh, I spy a really long bit of empty road up ahead. I wonder if I can get to it. That guy just moved over for me, isn't that cool? I'll give him a shout out. Hey, if I can get in front of that AAA van, I can... Nah, maybe a little bit of fun? It's just not the right time. feeling I'm attracting a whole bunch of attention. I'll stop it. Well, there it is. Have fun, guys. I'm going to sign off, and hope you have a great day. Bye.